Hi guys, Chris again. And this is one of my many GeForce GTX 780 video cards. So what this video is, is a gaming profile. Now this is the first one of these that I've done. And so this might be a little, a little less than perfect, but we are, I'll, I'll figure out how to do these as I go along. So the purpose of this video is to address video cards that can still be of some modern use, okay? So we're not looking at, um, you know, we're not gonna be looking at really ancient, ancient, I mean, this is like 10 or so years old, but this can run some reasonably modern stuff. So what we wanna look at here is what can this play? So on this video, I'm just gonna discuss that. So uh, video cards like this, this is a very impressive looking card. And the problem with that is that people will go out and especially with an incoming potential new uh, uh, GPU shortage that we're all expecting to happen here pretty fast, um, a lot of people are gonna buy GPUs like this that look visually impressive. This looks modern. If you didn't know what you were looking at, you wouldn't know that this is an 11 year old video card. It's got a metal backplate. It's got three fans, all metal cage uh, fan shroud. It's a good looking, it's not bad, it's a good looking card. Um, but you need to know what this is. So this is, as I said, this is a GeForce GTX 780. Now, this video card was the top of the line in 2013. They released late 2013 an even faster version called the 780 Ti, um, but this is a 2013 GPU. Now, the problem with this GPU is that it lacks a few very specific features that you were starting to see in GPUs of this generation that essentially dead end this card around 20, realistically 2020. So you're talking like uh, Battlefield 5, uh, Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Battlefield 1, uh, games like that are going to be the games that look good on this GPU. Now, I'm not saying there aren't some newer games. If you really dig deep, you can technically run Cyberpunk on this, but 2018 games and some esports like, say, Fortnite, for example, if you have a reasonably fast CPU, are kind of your limit with this. This is not going to be a good Cyberpunk GPU. It's not going to be a good, you know, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn GPU. This doesn't properly support modern features and it does not properly support the frame gen or upscaling you would need to get it there. So I hope you guys find this information useful and thanks for watching.